a continuation of the direct action, yes. Your Honor. All yes. right, proceed. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. I don't think the prosecution uh, has any objection. We have no objection, Your Honor. All right, proceed. Uh, uh, and before I proceed, Your Honor, I wish also to uh, uh, publicly apologize to Ms. Cruz. There was an unfortunate article that appeared in the uh, Philippine Star uh, imputing some kind of relationship between myself and Ms. Cruz. And I want uh, to make it of record that I'm not in conformity with the publication, and I would like uh, to give Ms. Cruz fair opportunity to deny. Uh, what the, is the, that relationship? Uh, there's uh, some item, Your Honor. Uh, I, I, I apologize. Uh, let's forget about those things. Anyway. Yes, Your Honor. I, I will proceed. We are adults. So. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Cruz, yesterday I asked you to bring documents preceding uh, June, June 4, yes. 2008, yes. relating to the acceptance of Mrs. Corona. Yes. I am sorry, to the inspection of the unit of mm -hmm. Mrs. Corona. Yes. Do you have them with you? Yes, I have them with me. Would you be so kind as to show us the document? Um, yes. Both councils may proceed to scrutinize the document and uh, agree that uh, <coughs> Agree, if you can agree. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, the witness is showing us a document on the letterhead of Community Innovations, which is the company that she works for, and it appears to be dated June 20th, 2006. Uh, I wish to uh, inform the court, as well as the prosecution, that we do not have a copy of the original as well. Show it to the prosecution, and if they, they have no que uh, question about its authenticity, then uh, so be it. We cannot... <coughs> Let's stipulate, Your Honor, because uh, this, uh, it's a photocopy and the uh, signatory is not Ms. Uh, Cruz, Your Honor. At any rate, Ms. Cruz, can you please tell us where this document, uh, where did you get this document from? Um, uh, I got the document from the June 20, 2006 letter um, from our, our archives um, for all the copies of the notifications on acceptance for all the towers in columns. All right, and Do you confirm, therefore, that this letter was an official letter from your company or your representative to Mrs. Corona? Yes, I do confirm. Do you confirm, therefore, that the records of your company uh, uh, contain this letter? Yes, I do confirm. Do you confirm, therefore, that this is the first letter inviting Mrs. Corona to accept the unit, or inspect, I'm sorry, to inspect the unit? Yes, I do confirm that this is the first letter that we sent out. All right. Now, you will recall from, from uh, Your Honor, may we request that this be marked as Defense Exhibit Number Mark 220. And that the date... June 20, 2006, be marked as Defense Exhibit 220A. That's another letter? The same letter, Your Honor, just the date. June? June 20, 2006. What I have here is June, 4 June, 2008. Yes, Your Honor. This document precisely precedes that uh, exhibit, and it was this letter now which was the basis for that letter that you are referring to, Mr. President. Are they identical in contents? No, Your Honor. The, the exhibit that... They are linked. They are linked, Your All Honor, right. yes. Uh, what, you want to mark uh, that as an exhibit? Yes, I just did, Your Honor. What uh, number is it? Exhibit 220, Your All Honor. right, mark it accordingly. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, can you please tell us, uh, uh, based on your... Uh, communications with Mrs. Corona, if you know, what happened after she received that letter of June uh, 20, 2006? Uh, based on our records, um, uh, we have a copy of, uh, she was able to come 
to visit the site, the Columns Ayala Avenue, and then perform an inspection of the unit. And can you tell us if there is any documentation, any record regarding that in inspection? From the records we have found, um, there is a punch list. Would you be so kind as to explain to us what a punch list is? A punch list is a recording of items found in the unit when an inspection is done. Um, it's, it, it indicates things that need to be rectified, repaired, or cleaned up inside the unit. When you say things that need to be rectified, could this include defects, mistakes? Yes, that's possible. All right. Is there, was there such a punch list relating to the inspection of Mrs. Corona? Yes, there is a punch list. Do you have the punch that list? That is the inspection in 2006. That is right, Your Honor. Do you have that punch list with you? Yes, I have the form with me. Would you be so kind as to present it? May I invite the counsel for the prosecution to look at the letter? Your Honor, may we request that the punch list be marked as Exhibit 221 for the defense. Mark it accordingly. And that the uh, portion on the right-hand section referring to leaks, uh, repainting, and removing wall stains and sealant be marked as 221A, this, this whole subsection here. Why, why not just... Uh well, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, but uh, the document shows all the defects that were uh, Very well, Your Honor. And uh, there's no point in uh, specifying them. Uh, anybody can read it. It's, it's quite uh, detailed, Your Honor, so all right. to bracket it would be easier all right. to find. Mark, bracket them and mark them according. Thank you, Your Honor. Now... After that, then you wrote the letter of June 4, which you testify, uh, 2008, which you testified to. Um, uh, no, we sent out another letter. You sent out another yes. letter. Do you have that letter with you? Yes, I What's have it. What's the date of that letter? What is the date? Yes. The date, Your Honor, of this letter is October 17, 2006. It uh, is about the rectification, the completion of the rectification. May we know who sent this letter out? That was an uh, October letter. October 17, 2006. Oh, 2006. The yes. first letter in 2006 was what date? June 20, 2006, Your Honor. June, okay. Your Honor, uh, yeah. Yeah. may we know who wrote this letter, uh, Ms. Cruz? Um, it was me. I wrote the letter for address to Christina Corona. For what purpose did you write the letter, Ms. Cruz? It was to, um, I, uh, sorry, to inform Mrs. Corona about the completion of the rectification of their unit. All right. Uh, may we request that this, this letter, dated uh, October 17, 2006, be marked as Defense Exhibit 222. Mark it accordingly. Did you receive a reply from Mrs. Corona following that letter? Nothing on record. Nothing that we can find regarding the response from Ms. Corona. Do you recall having uh, uh, that she replied to you in any way? Not that I can recall. And so after that letter, am I correct in stating that the next communication was your letter to her on June 4, 2008? Um, there was another letter in February 26, 2008. February 26. Do you have that letter with you? January yes. when? February, February 26, 26, 2008, Your Honor. Your Honor, if I'm not mistaken, this had been previously marked by the... Uh, February 26? Yes, Your Honor. February 26, 2008. 2008. 2008, Your Honor. 2008. Eight. Uh, 2008. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, may we know who wrote this letter, Ms. Cruz? It was also written by me. It, it came from me. Your Honor, I have here the original of that letter, and uh, may we request that the photocopy be marked as the exhibit for the defense, and it be marked as exhibit number 223. Mark it accordingly. All right. Previously marked? Us? By us? 
All right, then, then we withdraw the, the marking now. No? All right, thank you. You are withdrawing the marking of... Yes, Your Honor, this letter, because it had been previously marked as exhibit number 48, according to the Secretariat. You then state it to the record. Now. Yes, Your Honor. This letter, previously marked as exhibit 48, was written by whom? By me, Your Honor. It was did, written by me. After this, did you receive a reply from Mrs. Corona? Um, not that I can recall of any reply, Your Honor. And the next communication was when? Between you and Mrs. Corona, if you recall. I, it follows already the June 2008 letter. The which we discussed in and this marked what, yesterday. In this, what is the, what does that letter of uh, February 19, uh, February to, to, 2008, 2008 says? It, may I read, Your Honor? Please. Okay. For the information of the court. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, it was about, we have written as a notice from based on the uh, October 17, 2006 letter regarding the final re-inspection of your unit, we would like to inform you that the unit has been deemed delivered and accepted as of February 28, 2008, pursuant to Section 7 of the contract to sell. All right. That was the main content of the letter, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Cruz. Now, after, after uh, your communication with uh, Mrs. Corona, uh, uh, in uh, September 2008, I asked you yesterday if you, conf if you conveyed to the Homeowners Association the information regarding the acceptance of Mrs. Corona. Did you convey this information in writing? I have no record of the actual con um, transmittal or any information given to the condominium corporation regarding the acceptance of the unit. Do you confirm that it is the practice of your corporation to inform the homeowners association of the acceptance? Yes, I do confirm that it is practiced that um, the, the developer informs the condominium corporation of the accepted units for the building. What records do you have, if any, that there is such information conveyed or such information kept by you, your corporation, which is conveyed to the homeowners corporation? I just have a copy of the monitoring that we do internally. Would you be so kind as to produce that for us? Um, yes. We are looking at a, a, an image, Your Honor. Ms. Cruz, what is this image we are looking at? Would you be so kind to explain? Um, it's an Excel file, uh, basically a tabulation of all the accepted units for all the towers in the Columns Ayala Avenue. This file exists in the computer? Yes, it is. Uh, were you the one who extracted the, this file from the computer? Yes, I was the one who extracted this file. Were you the one who caused the printing of this uh, image from the computer? Yes, for this specific file. Were yes. you the one who operated the computer? Yes, I was uh, the one who operated the computer. And you were the one who accessed the file? Yes, I was also the one who accessed the file. All right, Your Honor, may we request that this be marked as Defense Exhibit 223. Market according. Uh -huh. That's okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Ms. Cruz, would you be so kind to show me? Uh, I asked you whether you had proof of uh, or you had information regarding the acceptance by Mrs. Corona and whether that acceptance had been communicated to the condominium corporation. Mm -hmm. Can you please show me from this image where I might find that information? Um, there is a tabulation here that indicates the dates of deemed acceptance or an acceptance dates. Yes. Are you telling me that there are two entries? Yes. One is for? For the deemed acceptance and of the, the other? and for the acceptance date. All right. Would you be so kind as to read uh, what the document states on its face? Okay. For 31B, Christina Corona, for the acceptance date, it indicates August 12, 2009, 
The deemed acceptance date is June 7, 2008. And do you confirm that this information was related to the Condominium Corporation? Um, yes, I do confirm. All right. Now, yesterday, Ms. Cruz, thank you. Yesterday, Ms. Cruz, you informed me, or you informed the court, that there was a balance being collected from Mrs. Corona in the amount of 8,000 and odd pesos. Am I correct? Yes, I do recall that. And can you please refresh our recollection? What was that amount for? Um, the amount was for the real property tax in 2008. All right. And that demand was uh, presented to Ms. Corona, am I correct? Yes, yes. Right. Can you please tell us if there is anything that appears in your records regarding the payment of that amount? From uh, the checking uh, that has been done, uh, there is no record of the payment from Mrs. Corona. In other words, she has not received the uh, real estate tax declaration from you. That I am not uh, sure if she was able but to But the payment, what is the purpose of the amount? It, it was a collection of their share on the real property tax for 2008. And assuming that she would pay it, what would be your reaction or your response? Based on uh, the letters? Based on your practice. If she paid for that amount, oh, yes. what, would you, what would you give to her in exchange? The, the original tax declaration will be given to her. So, as you have testified, she has not paid for the amount and therefore... Probably, but I'm not theref sure. Therefore, according to your practice... Therefore, according to our practice, it may be still with the company, with the developer. That the tax declaration is still not with Mrs. Yes, Corona? Yes, it may be still with that the That is all for this witness, Your Honor. Thank you. Cross examination. Uh, consistent, Your Honor, with our uh, with the prosecution's uh, position, Your Honor, that uh, in so far as the Columns property is concerned, the uh, fact of uh, actual delivery, which the defense is trying to prove, Your Honor, is immaterial, because as we have already uh, put into evidence, deed of absolute sale has been executed, title has been executed, and money or cash has already been paid for by the respondent and wife in 2003 and 2004. So we have no cross-examination on the witness, Your Honor. All right. <laughs> witness is, uh... Your Honor, before that, may I request uh, just to present the originals and that the photocopies that were submitted uh, yesterday uh, be confirmed and that the documents we presented be admitted can, uh, under the best evidence rule. Show it to the prosecution and uh, if they accept them as uh, the original. Thank you, Your Honor. Request that the witness be discharged, Your Honor. You do not need the witness anymore. All right, the witness is discharged. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cruz. Mr. President. Majority floor leader. While they are marking uh, the continuation also of the cross-examination of another witness, Ms. Perlita Ele, is... Um,